or servo can be used for camera rotation and stabilization. This test stand imitates a stabilized platform with a video camera. The mass of the rotated part is 6 kg. A strain gauge sensor is used. The torque is passed through springs. The maximum rotation speed that this stand can compensate is 180 rpm. The maximum speed of deliberate rotation is 60 rpm. This lever imitates the swinging of the unstable base. This modification features an additional reduction gear that drives the torque. This is the stability test simulating a strong wind flow. This is another experimental stand. The mass of the rotating part is 11 kg. The design uses a magnetic rotation encoder as a force sensor. During testing, the servo drive first rotates the platform and slows it down afterwards. The slowdown speed and the level of unwanted vibrations are measured. This is a prototype of a stabilized platform with a small camera. The platform tilt is controlled by an electronic gyroscope only, without a horizontal sensor. The electronic gyroscope allows for a smooth slowdown without swaying. In other words, the pendulum effect is suppressed. This is the oscilloscope easy drawn with a stabilized video camera platform. External potentiometers are connected to the servo drives. These potentiometers measure the spring's stretching values. This is how position servo units are transformed into force servo units. Force servo drive does not interfere with the inertial stabilization of the platform. As the result, the servo drive rotates the camera resting on the unstable base, but the tilt of the unstable base makes no sense. On this drone, the servo drive turns by 60 degrees in 50 milliseconds. This is much faster than any unwanted platform swaying. To get higher acceleration, you would have to hit the drone with a baseball. However, even in this case, the short impulse will be absorbed by the springs installed between the servo drive and the platform. Force servo offers fast reaction without mechanical noises of the reduction gear being passed to the platform being stabilized. If you compare this design with a direct drive brushless motor, for servo will have the following advantages. High torch, compact size and weight, lower energy consumption, scalability for rotation of cameras of any mass, possibility to leverage the benefits of inertial stabilization, including the use of an additional counterweight or a heavy mechanical gyroscope, and absence of nonlinearity thanks to feedback from the force sensor.